Hi guys, it's Bernice, sure, simply her, and I'm here to tell you that it is story time. Now, if y'all know me, <laughs> y'all know that I am very, very silly, right? And I am, and while I tell you this story, I'm going to wash my face and do my makeup, okay? Okay. So, let me move this stuff on. Grab a clean makeup towel. Lay it there. But my products that I'm going to be using today is my Noxzema. I love this. I love this. I not love it. It's Noxzema Classic Clean. Noxzema Classic Clean. And, um,. It's really good for your skin. It's made with eucalyptus extract. And it's a deep cleansing cream. So I use this. And um, that's how I remove my makeup. Also with baby oil. Like if I had... Um, here, I'll show you. Just hold on. One second. So I went and got this one out the shower because I keep one in my shower. That's why it's wet. That's why it's drippy. <laughs> that's why it's wet and that's why it's drippy. And as you can see, it's almost gone. Because sometimes I do this in the shower. Sometimes I decide that I'm not going to do it in the shower. I'll just do it at, while, you know, at my seat. So anyway, one of the things that I do is... I'll take a clean towel, which y'all about to see me do. And usually I'll have some makeup uh, removing pads in front of me, but I don't have those in pads. So I just take it and put it on a little bit of, on one of these rags. And I go over my eye like that. So I don't know if you can see it, I'm adding oil to my eye because that helps remove anything that's like glue or whatever for my eyelashes and I'm just dabbing it on my face guys I'm not really wiping and all of that I'm just dabbing it on my eyelash on my eyebrows baby oil and then I put that down and then I'll turn the water on. Noxzema. Take it. Put it all over my face, just like that. Usually with two hands, though. <laughs> and today is not the day that I'm going to do my uh, hair shave my head at all because I don't feel like it uh, I'm just going to clean my face well anyway this story guys here's something and I'm, I'm, I'm silly so I'm always putting silly memes and stuff on my uh, page because I think it's funny I think it's funny, ain't that funny? Well, when I think something is funny, to me, that's when it's funny. Okay? So, remember I had rotator cuff surgery, right? I had rotator cuff surgery. Oh, I was so scared. I was terrified. 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 Okay? And... I'm always, when I got to have surgery or something, when I have to have surgery or something, I literally uh, will research and research and research. So, I had surgery March the 8th, 
And yesterday, which is March the 22nd, I literally had to go back to the doctor for the first time and get my stitches removed and, you know, tell them all about, you know, what I felt about therapy. So when I was having surgery, before I had surgery, I was talking to the nurse and she was like, you know, when you get home, you want to make sure you move your arm. You want to keep it in the brace. You want to keep it snug to the body. Tuck those elbows, tuck those elbows, tuck those elbows. And, you know, you can move your arm like this. You can move your arm like that, right? So I'm like, oh, cool. And so she was like, yeah. And, you know, move your hands and, and, and your hands often. Because if you don't, you could possibly end up with a frozen shoulder. And then when you go do therapy, it's going to be just a bit much. I'm like, really? Oh, tell me once, but you don't got to tell me twice because I ain't have no frozen shoulder because I have things that I'm about to do, right? So, <laughs> I was so scared when I had surgery. Y'all seen that video where I said my knees are shaking, my knees are shaking. It got over a thousand some views. My knees was shaking. Well, yesterday... My knees were shaking again because I was scared they was going to take out all these stitches. And the stitches, y'all, I'll show y'all when I'm done with this, this part. But the stitches was like, I was terrified to have my stitches removed because I thought that it was going to hurt even worse and the bones was going to hurt and all of that. So while I'm at home recovering on drugs, uh narcotics that they were giving me you know I literally was doing everything that lady had told me because in my head I don't know if y'all know but I have PTSD and ADHD and anxiety extremely bad we'll, we'll talk about that another time but um extremely bad so I literally started doing all these little bitty start I mean all these little bitty things right and as I'm doing these little bitty things, I literally, you know, every time I got in the shower, uh, every time, every time I did anything, sitting in the chair, all of that, I would literally be sitting there moving, doing my exercises on my arms, my hands, my all of that because I didn't want to have no frozen shoulder, right? Even though I really didn't know what a frozen shoulder was, <laughs> but I didn't want it because I'm already going through all of this, right? So then, <laughs> yesterday on the way to the doctor to get the stitches removed, I just know in my head. That these stitches got to come out and, and they attach to the bone. And they going to come out and they going to hurt. I mean, like hurt. It's going to hurt. Oh my goodness. I think I made, <laughs> I did make another funny, funny video. I don't know if y'all seen it. If you didn't, go look at my shorts because that's where all my funny videos is at. And I love, can't, I mean, I love Snapchat. So that's where I be getting my memes and stuff. Huh? So anyway. <laughs> Girl or guys, I'm never watching. When I say, <laughs> I went in there, me and my husband, and we sat down, and I was a shaking because I got to get these stitches removed. And like I say, I just know it's gonna hurt. And if y'all didn't know, I also deal with fibromyalgia pain and. I have lupus, so I deal with pain on the regular, but anything that's going to cause me not to hurt is what I want to do, right? So, I literally was terrified. The lady came in the room. She was like, hi, Bernice. I'm like, hi. Oh, I'm nervous. She was like, nervous? I was like, yeah. I think I just... My earring just fell. Okay. So I got to hold, 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 please, hold, please. Got to find out where it fell at because I don't want to step on. 
Oh. Cool. That's right. So, I'm like, yeah, she was like, nervous, what you nervous about? I was like, I'm nervous about these stitches being removed. It's going to hurt. She was like, oh, oh, it's, it, it's not going to be that bad. I'm like, what are you talking about, lady? My shoulder was hurting when y'all did the surgery. Y'all told me it wasn't going to hurt that bad. And now, y'all got to remove these stitches out the bones. It's going to hurt. Does she <laughs> She said, out the bones. I don't think it's going to be that bad. So, she had me take my shirt off and do all this stuff, y'all. I don't know. See, here we go with this lighting yet again. I'm going to turn y'all a little bit so I don't know if you can see or not. So, it was a stitch right here. Y'all see? It was a stitch right here. It was a stitch right here and there was a stitch in the back back there so I'm sitting there and I'm pulling my shirt down I'm pulling my shirt over and I'm like okay go ahead go ahead do it do it and I felt her arm on me and I'm like oh oh Jesus help me Jesus and she was like, okay. And I was like, okay, what? She was like, we're all done. I said, wait, wait, you done? Wait. I don't see that. I was like, uh, how you do that? She was like, I just took him out with a tweezer. You didn't feel it? Not at all. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> tell me I was all that scared and terrified for you to pull out stitches out of I thought my bones and they literally was just lightly laying over the skin and not attached to the bone and she was like I did not want to discourage you or, or have you think any other kind of way so I was just telling you it's not going to be that bad because I, I can't say it's not going to be that bad I mean because I now, your pain is subjective. You, you, you know what hurts you and what doesn't. All that time, I was terrified. Terrified. <laughs> and then we get to the counter to check out. And the doc, I mean, the girl behind the counter, she says, So how was it, Bernice? And my husband going to look over at her and say, Oh, she was afraid to have those six stitches removed. I said six. That wasn't six. It was like six in one here, six in this part, six in this part, six in the back. It was about a total of six. <laughs> I cannot tell you how I literally woke up yesterday at 4.44 a.m. Because I was so scared to have these stitches removed and could not go back to sleep. My appointment was at 9.45 a.m. And I woke up at 4.44 a.m. <laughs> Just like for the surgery. Oh my goodness. I did all this research, all this stuff like. Oh my God, they're going to drill down in the bone. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to keep my arms shut. I ain't going to be able to move it at all. None of that. I ain't going to be able to do nothing. And there was nothing to be terrified of. <laughs> but in my head, I deal with pain every day. I deal with anxieties every day. So I was terrified. Okay. Y'all like how clear and clean my skin is? Look how smooth it is. That's so pretty. I love it. That's... The end of the story. And that's me cleaning and clearing my face. And now I'm about to relax. And guess what, y'all? I don't have to have physical therapy. Look at God. Won't he do it? Yes, he will.
Y'all have a blessed day.